Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for this week's video. Uh, this one's probably going to be a bit short and sweet, but it's something I want to cover um, moving forward with the new Autodesk Construction Cloud um, and uploading a, a Plan 3D project into that Construction Cloud. So uh, the interface is a, is a little bit different. Um, obviously, the sort of the colours and everything else. Um, Insight. Again, because this is a, this is a new uh, project, we aren't sort of going to get too much more information. But it is very similar to sort of what we had before with BIM 360, um, build design docs, whatever it, uh, you want to call it. Uh, so again, just the layout is a little bit different. But ultimately, I just wanted to start off with uploading a project to docs. Um, and then in the coming weeks go through uh, things like the, the markups and the issues and just sort of investigating uh, with you guys, uh, seeing what we can do, what we can't do, what's a little bit different, maybe things that are a little bit worse. We don't know. We'll, we'll find that out over the coming weeks. So uh, what I've got here, I've just got a new 2022 uh, project that I've made. Uh, nothing special, I haven't done anything with it at all. So up the top left we'll go share project. Um, choose your docs project photo, upload a copy and invite your team members. So that's all good. Uh, and then we go 2022 ACC plant 3D. I'm just waiting for it to finish. So over here on the right hand side, hopefully we should see the project populate here on the left. Sorry, on the right from the left. If we come over here and press F5. Okay. So you go, so project's been created under the project files folder. So that hasn't changed at all. So whatever you name your project, it is going to be living directly under the project files um, folder there. Okay, so coming in. Same thing as usual, you do not see the databases in here. They're sort of hidden in the background, I guess. Um, you're not going to be able to see them. You're not going to see them in your uh, desktop connector either. Um, I think I covered it in one of the other videos about uh, backing up and archiving a project means you download not only all the project files but the databases as well. So that's that's really the only only way to, to create a true backup. Don't be fooled into thinking just because you download uh, here that it does download uh, all of those files as well. So almost done. Okay, so uploading the databases now. And it looks like we're pretty much there. I don't think this will this will take too long. While we're waiting for that, we'll just jump into the PNID drawing. So it looks like on the left hand side uh, it's all working. Yep, so there you go. So there's our PNID as normal as would be expected, nothing really too special. And then you can see it there on the right hand side uh, up there in the uh, ACC Autodesk Construction Cloud. Okay, so it doesn't, you can see the um, the interface is, is a little bit different, obviously. I'll just make this a bit bigger. So they've gone for this sort of, this flat uh, kind of look in almost even monochrome. So it's all sort of black and white. But viewpoints, model browser, any issues. Up the top right here, you've got search, which will investigate 
compare feature. We have nothing to compare it against just yet, but that's something we can have a look at later. Uh, downloading that source file, sharing it or printing it directly from here. And you've got your markup tools here down the right hand side. Okay, usual interface uh, that was with BIM 360 as well. So pan, fit, zoom window, any of the settings. So you can come through and modify those, but we'll look at those at another later date. Layer manager, quite handy to, to dig into um, the AutoCAD files themselves, but this again doesn't have really too much in there. Uh, I don't think we're going to get too many properties. No, it'll be interesting to see what kind of properties it brings up um, from a pin ID and from a 3D sense. What we might also do is have a look at making custom properties and see how they come through as well. Okay. So it looks like it's not too much different, but I think it's different enough to be noticeable just to see you know, what's going on with this new sort of uh, look and feel. So for the field, um, files in this folder are available to all project members and are synced to mobile devices. So uh, nothing to do with us just yet and Plant 3D, but we're more concerned about this project files. Okay, so if you're uh, kind of hoping that um, you'd be able to make subfolders for Plant 3D and other disciplines and whatever else, you're, you're going to be a bit disappointed. It's still under the project files folder. Um, but generally everything else is it's still pretty much the same as what it was with um, uh, BIM 360 uh, and the new ACC. So thanks for watching. Short and sweet this week. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please do subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment if you need it. But what we might do in the coming weeks is just uh, have a bit more of an investigation with uh, Plant 3D and this ACC. We might even turn on the, some of the other modules and see, see what we can do in regards to design coordination and maybe model coordination within this uh, new system and, and see if it's going to be of any worth to anyone. Um, who uses Plant 3D with this system. So again, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel and catch me next week for a little bit more Plant 3D and Autodesk Construction Cloud. See you later.